Here is our plan for a perfect weekend in Kefalonia. During our two months stay in Greece, our friends came to visit us from Spain for a long weekend. So we wanted to make the best plan for them. Kefalonia is a big island with a lot of things to do and to see. But since they have only three days here, we wanted to find the sweet spot between relaxation and seeing the highlights of Kefalonia. And get the best food. Of course. Now we would like to share with you this three-day itinerary so that you have the chance to plan it yourself as well. Early in the morning we went to pick them up from the airport and then we went directly to the beach of Macris Gialos. This beach is located only five minutes away from the airport. After the beach, we went directly to Argostoli because our visitors were super hungry. And we got some frappe, fresh spanakopita, tiropita, beautiful. Then we did our check-in to our new home and then we went directly to Asos. On the way to Assos, we passed by the viewpoint of the Mertos beach. It has been raining since yesterday evening extremely heavily and we thought the water is just gonna be super dirty or something. But look at these incredible colors. And here in the, in the back you can also see some other beaches where it's extremely blue and then it's just coming there from the I, I can't even describe it um, this weekend we have actually two visitors so you can you will see them in this video as well it's our friends from um, Alpha Stepi where Lee grew up they're gonna stay with us for the weekend and we're gonna explore together again the island of Kefalonia and also a, few beaches, a few regions that we haven't been so far. Um, they are a little bit unfortunate because it was raining the, yesterday, the whole night, this morning. Today is not the best day uh, and we really thought that the water is just gonna be completely dirty or because usually we have this crystal clear water here. but. Actually, it turns out that it's just super, super bluish turquoise. We, I don't know how that works. So here you can see our visitors. And today we actually had a lot of plans, but the weather is unstable, I'd say. Um, but still, we, we decided to make our way to Assos, which is one of the most famous small towns here on the island of Kefalonia. And there's a castle on the top, or a fortress, more, I think yeah. it is. There are not a lot of parking lots um, at, the, at the entrance of the village, so we went down, we didn't find any parking and we just looked for some on the street. But because it's very narrow, everything here is a bit complicated. So if you're coming in high season, uh, rather try to park on the top and then walk down because also it's not very far to walk. So this is the parking lot in the town. So as you can see it's full with rental cars and it is a bit hard to find space especially I think in High season it's gonna be complicated. The geography of the town is quite interesting because just in front of it there's a peninsula connected to the rest of the island just via a very narrow stripe of land. The main attractions of Asos are the restaurants and the cafes in the town but there's also a castle on the top of the peninsula. We 
didn't have the best weather today, so our friends decided to make a sun ritual to ask for the sun to come. That was a traditional Greek dance. Greek dance is the very Greek. Omar is a bit nervous for the cabras. La verdad que sí. Esto ahí vamos. Omar was a little bit scared of the goats. He said they have big horns, and he's scared. We had to walk like 20 minutes or maybe a little bit more to come up to the castle and basically it's some old ruins on the top of the hill made by the Venetians of course and it is not completely intact anymore it is a bit destroyed but of course it's guess who built this castle here me <laughs> what's the name of this castle do you know the Venetian castle of Assos. Mm. The best views on the town of Assos you will have from the castle. And the castle is free to visit. So that was day one of our itinerary and we finished the day with a very nice dinner. Unfortunately, we did not take any videos there, but you can see some photos. Good morning everyone! Good morning! Kalimera! <laughs> For today we have a full day planned. We're gonna go to Lijuri first. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Sorry for that. And we're gonna go in ferry. It will cost us seven euros for the car and three euros per person. So around 20 euros to go there. You could also take the car to go there, but we thought it's gonna be more interesting to go there in with the ferry. So we also have the ferry ride and then just have to go one way uh, with the car. So this is the ferry. It's going every hour like i think it's every half an hour even so you can take it from seven o'clock in the morning 7 30 8 8 30 so you can see it here there's a qr code that you can scan to see it but basically what we're gonna do is pay directly on the boat so it's like a bus ride next to ferry ride was only 30 minutes so it's pretty quick and you're on the other side basically of Kefalonia and um, so because in car it would have taken us I think one and a half hours so it's very quick efficient and that was a very smooth ferry ride to be honest yeah so this one I think I can really recommend also if you have a day trip or you have just maybe one day in Argostoli and you don't want to rent a car and you don't have anything to do 
just take this ferry for three euros for one way and you can walk around here a little bit and see something different. Paliki is a peninsula located on the western side of the island. It is a little bit isolated but easily reachable with a ferry. Liksuri is the largest town of the peninsula and has plenty of restaurants and cafes. The next stop is the beach Xi. The color of the sand of this beach is quite unusual. It has a very strong dark orange tone. And in this region there are a lot of luxury hotels. So I think we just found the place where the boat tours are taking you to uh, make you feel younger. <laughs> Basically you can find here a special clay that you can use as a face mask or as a body mask and the tour operators are taking you. After visiting the beach, we finally got some food. We just left um, the beach Xi and now we went to a taverna, which is very close to another beach, but we want to see right now. And the taverna is really nice, like in the mountains and when you're driving through Catalonia, it is so empty. There's nothing, no houses, nothing. So just have a look. The beach where we're going now it's called Petani and also the taverna here is called Taverna Petani and they have apparently a very good mosaica. So let's find this one out. So we have ordered bread, saganaki, um, which is a fried cheese. Then we have ordered feta um, in the oven and Greek salad. And afterwards we will get two moussaka. Wow. Let's see how it's gonna be. Already. Yeah. Mm. How's the moussaka? Mm. It's very good mm? because they use eggplant and zucchini. Mm. Good mixture. On our plan was also to visit the beach Betani, but in the end the weather was a bit unstable because it was very windy, so we decided to just take a few photos. So we just finished lunch and it was lots and lots of food and it was really good but I'm still very full and now we started a small hike to go to the Efteri, Efteri beach so you have to walk 30 to 40 minutes to arrive to the beach and apparently you can see some uh, tortoises on the way and even maybe some um, sea turtles. The hike was pretty steep but nothing crazy. I think most of the people could manage it. And don't forget to bring enough water because there's nowhere that you can buy water down there. Wow, I mean, what a beach! This is incredible! And now we literally just want to lay down a bit, swim, relax and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view.
afterwards, we went to Argostoli to spend a beautiful evening there and had some more delicious Greek food. The plan for our last day was pretty chill. The sun was shining and the temperature was just perfect. So we drove to the eastern side of the island for a lovely beach day. First, we made a few stops along the way on the eastern part of the island until we reached a tiny little cove called Kako Lagadi. This one is only accessible through a short walk. Today we are in the southwest of the island of Kefalonia and um, we just went to one of well, a very nice small beach um, that you have to walk around 10 to 15 minutes to go to the beach and also the it, it was like one hour drive so therefore there are not so many tourists here in general I think most of the people that come here come by car um, or by boat so it will be a pretty empty beach I guess we bring some food and do some picnic down here um, but it's already pretty hot so we need to look for some shade but look at this view at the cove itself there were quite a few people so we decided to take our stuff and try to find another one next to it this one was pretty small but we had a a small rock there and it was like a private beach so really nice at the end of the day we went for some nice cocktails for happy hour and that was our perfect weekend in Kefalonia. We hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, just leave us a comment. And see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.